that's right, it's Madman Mondello. Coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Good evening, guys and gals. Hope you're all having a good day. Hope you had a great weekend. As for me, oh, it's been hell. Okay. <laughs> Actually, it's been uh, kind of uh, interesting. You all know that Lorraine, she got out of the hospital. She had back surgery on her, on her freaking spine and everything else. So, of course, everything hurts with her. All right, in the meantime, I'm trying to take care of her. I'm building these freaking crazy things here. And handling the business page and doing the shipping. And I, I've worn so many hats this weekend, it's not been funny. But it's okay, because that's what we do. This is the, this is the life. What are you going to do, you know? But anyway, I hope that you're all doing well. We have got, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven consoles here. All right, that we're going to display. Okay, and uh, this one here, the first one I'm going to start out with, okay? This one happens to be Mr. Bradley Pepin, okay? Bradley took a cue from Felix Garcia. If you remember Felix Garcia's console, he wanted the uh, Freddy Krueger console, okay? So we did that, and, you know, and, and what happened was Bradley fell in love with it. He's like, hey, got an idea. And I was like, what's your idea? And he's like, well, I ordered a tone. I wanted a Gears of War Special Edition. I was like, oh, cool, all right. But I want Freddy Krueger on it. I'm like, what? <laughs> so we have here Freddy Krueger meets Nick Fury, okay? And we might as well just throw into the mix Mortal Kombat. Finish him, okay? Because <laughs> that's what I, 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 This thing has an identity crisis, okay? I, mean, I don't know. All I know is I do I, I do what's asked of me. So, you know, anyway, here. Here it is, Bradley, okay? We did we used your Gears of War console here. We did a cutout on it. And I, I get the idea because of the console the way that the lithograph is with the blood and the gore and everything else. Yeah, you know, I mean it does it does go hand in hand, okay? It really it, it really does. We did the uh the Freddy Krueger logo here. Alright, now I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's also blood stains within the edge itself. You know, here and here, okay? You, you'll be able to better see it when I light it up. All right, but um, this one here, it's a it's a two terabyte monster. All right, so it's got a ton. I mean, a, you got a ton of everything on this damn thing. Now, of course, it's up on Alliance servers, okay? If you don't know, you know, a lot of people have been questioning me. I mean, they've been hitting my page up badly as I've been posting from my business page a lot now. And, um, you know, I mean, they've been asking, well, what's a stealth server? What's it? Well, a stealth server simply, it, it puts you online. You can get on Xbox Live. You can actually screw with people and have a good time. Okay, that's that's all it is. It, it's a, it acts as an intermediate between Xbox Live and an RGH console. Without one, if you tried to put an RGH console on Live, you would get it immediately banned. All right, because it would look at it and you know say, "Hey, look, I'm a modified bootloader. Here I am," and whammo, KB shot. Okay, so you know a stout server. It masks it. It does all kinds of stuff. And when you have the proper challenges, you won't have a KV ban. Okay? That's what a stealth server is. Okay? So just to let you know. Now, of course, one year part and labor warranty, fully loaded, ready to go out the door as they all are. All right? So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to plug this controller in here. Okay? And let's see here. All right? That's good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to light this bitch up. All right? And as you can see... Yes, it makes the funny sounds, too. It is a real Gears of War console. It isn't a clone or anything like that. As you can see, the blood stains from in, between, in, the, in the etching itself. And also, in the etching there, there's a bunch of blood stains there. All right, so that's what he wanted. That's what I gave him. All right, now, of course, this thing also comes, all right, with a remote. All right, now, you have this thing right here. So this is a 368 uh, mode function remote, okay? And you can make it do all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? I mean, it'll, it'll do red, it'll do green, it'll do blue. Uh, let's see, it'll do white. And then you can put it on auto, and um, it, do, it, it automatically switches modes, and it, you can speed it up and slow it down, you know? So there's a whole bunch of uh, colors that you can do with this thing. So it's kind of crazy, all right? But anyway... There you go. Now, I did your ROL for you, too. All right. Now, your ROL, as you can see. All right. And we'll flop it around. There you go. All right. So, if you want your ROL modified, there you go. We did that, too. All right. Now Bradley has bought several consoles from me. Okay. I mean, he is a really 
really a super guy. He's a super guy anyway, if you bought a console from me or not, really, to tell you the truth, the guy's really cool. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, he, he bought he bought several of them from me, okay? And this is the latest one to add to his collection, okay? And believe me, this is a one-of-a-kind. There's no question about that, all right? I mean, yeah, it's it's it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, Felix's is black, and this one has got the lithograph, so I guess it's to its own, you know? But this is what he wanted. This is exactly what he wanted. So, um, you know, hats off to Felix for the idea, all right? And, uh... We went ahead and, you know, there you go. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a little nutty. All right. So, anyway, now, what I'm going to do, I'm swap over to the capture card. Okay. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we are. Okay. And we booted up. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, Xbox 360. Okay. We start off at the dashboard. And as you can see, we have a complement of games. Actually, on the Xbox side, we have 164 of them. Okay. Uh, and as you can see, there was all kinds of games on this thing. Anything that you want, including college football revamped, of course. Version 18 is on this thing. You got College Hoops 2K8 on this thing. You got all kinds of games. Dead Island, Riptide, Dead Rising, Defiance, Dragon Age, MMA. You got everything for everybody, including Family Guy. Okay? You got you got to love Stewie. You got Fight Night. You know, I mean, there's a ton of games on here. You got Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City. That's the two, that's the two game series. Okay? And then, of course, you have Grand Theft Auto 4. All right? And that also with Buffington Mod Loaders on there. So there is a bunch of mod menus for that. So, yes, it goes online, and yes, you can play it online, and yes, you can fuck with people online, okay? And Grand Theft Auto V, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you got the Guitar Hero, you got some Halo on there. I mean, all, all kinds of Lego stuff, um, you know, football, Mass Effect, you know, more more, more Call of Duty, you got the Yin Yang, Mortal Kombat, everything for, for anybody, okay? You know, I mean, pretty much, you know, a bunch of titles on there, you know, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamp, of course. Um, if you want to change that title around, all you got to do is hit Y, bring it down here, go over here, hit this, okay, and then, uh, you know, then you can download custom covers on it, as you can see, okay, and you can change the cover, you can change anything you want, you know, I mean, they're, they're all right there, so let's say we want that, okay, so we'll go ahead, we'll download it, and then what will happen is, is the cover will change, yeah, it, Aurora is very, very tunable, you can do a lot of stuff with Aurora, okay, if you bother to understand it and, and and look at it and understand how to work it you know i mean that's that's the key okay but anyway as you can see it change the color there you go you know i mean you know so on and so forth you know red dead redemption and all this stuff saints row saw saw two and saw three that that goes well with this console let me tell you sonic spider-man all kinds of good stuff on here man all kinds of good games you know your typical standard complement of a two terabyte drive right here now it doesn't stop there okay now that's xbox 360 in Xbox Live Arcade, you got 121 titles of Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, that is playable, and you can play it, and it, and it just runs and runs and runs. you got a ton of games on there besides that. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. Okay, you got XM360, Dash Launch, Flash 360, Simple Man, Flasher. Stay away from that, please, if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so on and so forth. And then, of course, your Xbox 360 dashboard. Indie games, okay? you got a ton of indie games on there. Fuck them in the cleavage, get them, get them pregnant twice, pay child support and all that. And then visit the trailer park team and get an STD. Okay, it's all good. Don't forget the meth, okay? You gotta have some meth. Alright, so on and so forth. Classic games, alright? You got a ton of classic games on here. Now, some of them don't have artwork. Some do. Now, mind you, alright, Stelio Contes, he is part of the Aurora Dev team, okay? In fact, he's done a lot of fixes to this thing lately as he's been, uh... As he's been fixing stuff, he also fixed the login and friggin' all that crap uh, where people weren't getting their emails and everything because of some friggin' idiot that decided, oh, look, a spam bot. Yeah, let, let's mess everything to freak up, you know? But it's fixed now, so it's done. So you don't have to worry about that. So you can now log into Link and make an account on Aurora and, you know, I mean, get on it, you know? I mean, it's just another form of a network, okay? It uses System Link patch games. But anyway, as you can see, we got classic games on here. Now, hopefully... Hopefully, Stelio will go ahead and fix it where we can get the artwork title up, the updater going so we can actually upload title artwork covers. You hear me, Stelio? Stelio! Stelio! Yeah. Need to fix that, bud. Okay? Stop slacking. <laughs> it's going to freaking kill me. All right? Anyway, so as you can see, you got your artwork going on and all that kind of good stuff. All right? Yeah, you can check out the real mod scene. Um, he's also an admin on there now, too. As well, so you know, I mean, welcome him to the family, all right. And then, of course, we have our emulators, okay. Now, emulators you got Sega, Main, PlayStation, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, back to Sega and Main and PlayStation, and all that crap. So, 
and these are all fully loaded with ROMs, okay? You got over 9,000 ROMs on there. Uh, you have a blast, okay? You know, I mean, have a freaking blast with it. Now, all right, Xbox 360, we'll go back there. Let's hit the dashboard and make sure that this thing is up and right and tight, which it better be. Okay, there you are. Hello again, Bradley Peppin. You're on Alliance Live. By the way, Merry Christmas. You have a lifetime. You bought like five consoles from me. This one is special, and I bestowed upon you lifetime on our server. Why? For as much money as you spend with me, dude, if I can't do that, then I've got a real fucking problem, don't I? All right, you know what I mean? That's called greed. Now, I'm not greedy at all, I promise you. So, anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy lifetime on our server, all right? So now, you have fun and enjoy it. So, got it? Good? Okay, bypass the sign-in. Yes, I do nice things for, for, for people. When people, when people treat me right, I do some wonderful things for people. I just don't, I don't just don't talk about it because I'm not here to blow my own horn, okay? But on this one, I am, all right? And that's because Bradley has spent so much money with me that I, it's, the, it's the least I can do, the least. So anyway, there you are, you're up, you're online, you're live, okay? Now check this out here, okay? We're going to hit the guide button, all right? That's what I'm talking about, a server, as you can see, okay? Lifetime, unbanned KV, it's on day two, all right, because I built this thing of... Uh, Friday, I think. Friday or... Yeah, it was Friday. All right, so anyway, uh, yeah, you got X Community on here. X Community is another forum of matchmaking, all right, which is really cool. All right, now this is shared amongst four servers. Now, as you can see, there's 24 sessions online. Like I said, on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, it starts to get really crazy. And as you can see, we've got a GTA 4 session going on, Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 2, Halo Reaches are all joinable, they're public. Some of them are private sessions that you can't join, you got to be invited to, okay? But that's just the way that it is, you know? And you got all kinds of games going on, all at the same time, Modern Warfare 3. I mean, you got a bunch of that, Left for Dead, World at War, I mean, so on and so forth, okay? Now, your players, okay? There's 76 people on this thing. Perspective server over to the right. And as you can see, there is a ton of people online. I mean, a ton. What? I hate when it does that. This controller sucks. But there's a ton of people online, as you can see. Um, you know, it just goes on and on and on. There's, it's, it's loaded. Okay, so you know, guys have fun. You know, like I said, it, you know, you'll always have a session on this thing. And then of course you got your settings where you can enable features, custom matchmaking, force modded matchmaking, custom HUD, change online status, change your username, save your settings. That's X Community in a nutshell. All right, happy to be part of that. Now. Over to the Alliance Live tab, okay, this is our fifth tab. This is where your cheats reside, okay, now as you can see, we have Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3. Okay, those are menus. They're, they're all, they're streamed off host from the server, all right, and to disable, you can hit A, or to enable it, you can hit A, all right? Now, once it's enabled, in the lower left corner of the screen, when you fire up the multiplayer version of this thing, uh, of the game, like, like, let's say Advanced Warfare, when you fire it up, in the lower left corner of the screen, you're going to see a set of instructions. Follow those instructions, the menu will pop up. All right, make your selections and then go into a lobby and give somebody a bad debt. All right, it's all good. Like I said, shoot through walls, shoot through the crotch, do whatever you want to do. It's all good, okay? So anyway, there you go. Now, bring this back, Xbox Home. And there you have it. Mr. Pepin. <laughs> Brad? You don't mind if I call you Brad, do you? Bradley. <laughs> Brother. Thank you for your repeated business, bro. I really do appreciate it, like I said. And, uh, you know, I mean, I try to take care of the people that take care of me. And, uh, obviously, there's a lot of people that have been taking care of me for many, many years, okay, with this crap. So, I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I might be having a little surprise coming along in the near future for you guys, all right? So, just so you know, be on the lookout, okay? It's going to be something nice that's going to be given away. Alright, so anyway, just uh, just stay tuned for that. Alright, but anyway, Bradley, listen, again, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. I hope that you like the, uh, like what I did with this thing, okay? I mean, like I said, it's got an identity crisis. It doesn't know what it wants to be. But, that's kind of like me. So, it's all good. So, anyway, when it jumps out of the box and starts humping your leg, don't blame me, okay? I mean, just, just deal with it. So, thank you again for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Alright, now, we're going to say goodbye to Bradley here, okay? Bye, Brad. See you later, Freddy. <laughs> now, we're going to unplug that. Unplug all that mess, okay? We're going to move on to the next one here. All right, now, I don't know if you've heard this, guys, or not. Also, Insignia is starting to give out early uh, invites for their closed beta session. 
I suggest you check out the Insignia page because if you're into OG games, OG Xbox, as in the original, original black Xbox that I've been talking a lot about lately, well, you guys need to check it out because it's coming online and you can get early invited to the beta, okay, where you can get online with your OG Xbox retail or a modded one and go have a blast, okay? You really need to check that out because it's happening. Luke Usher, thank you so much, man. Thank you for all the contribution that you have done. Thank your team for making uh, Insignia, which is the Xbox Live replacement for, for the original Xbox Live, which was 1.0, which probably half the people that are watching me weren't even born when this thing was, was, was online, you know? So it's a whole experience, let me tell you. And there's 20 games, from what I understand, that you're going to be able to play online, you know, on the server, like Unreal Championship and all that kind of good stuff. You need to check out the page, man. It's really cool. All right, I posted a link. Um, it's on my uh, personal. It's on my personal page, and also I posted it in a lot of groups. So just so you know, you really need to check that out and get early invites and stuff like that. And hopefully, I'll see you on there. All right. So now, okay, here we go. Miss LaQuinta Norman. LaQuinta. La la la, La Quinta. Okay, La Quinta. She went ahead. She purchased the console off the website from us. Okay, one year part and labor warranty, of course. This one is a 120 gig. Small compliment, but still, yet yeah, it's a compliment. Okay, so yes, I'm going to compliment you with your compliment right here. I'm gonna plug this all in here. Let's fire this bitch up. All right. Now, I'm gonna swap over to the capture card. Let's see here. Where the hell is it? There we go. All right. Hopefully, this thing doesn't give me any issues. Better not. All right. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, we're booting up. We're gonna get our notifications and everything else. Okay. Hopefully. Come on now. Where'd you go? What the heck is going on with my with, with my with my Elgato here? This is ridiculous. Now wait a minute. It went dark. Hold on here. Ah, there it is. Okay. See what? It, mm. Okay. Computers. Yeah. All right. Go figure. Okay. <laughs> That's known as undefined behavior. Okay, just in case you know. A friend of mine tells me that all the time, like when he's coding, uh, you know, Microsoft Xbox stuff and everything. You know, I mean, uh, when you're when, when you're dealing with Visual, Visual Studios and everything. Yes, undefined behavior. Yes. Microsoft's real good at it. I promise you. All right. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. La Quinta. All right. As you can see, there you are. All right. We're gonna go ahead. Xbox 360. Start up with the dashboard. You got some titles on here. You got some Call of Duties on here. You got your, uh, Call of Duty 2K8, of course. Grand Theft Auto Series. College Football Revamped. Okay, with version 18 on it. All right. And, of course, back to the dashboard. Xbox Live Arcade. You got a couple Xbox Live Arcade games on there. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your emulators. Okay, you got Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, and back to Super Nintendo. You don't have a full complement because it couldn't fit it on the drive. All right. You, you don't want to overstep a drive. Because then bad things happen to this thing, okay? So, you know, as much as I could put on there for you, all right? But it's all ready to go. Now, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard. All right? Make sure she's up and online and with a good KV and all that kind of good stuff. Got it good. Okay? And there you are, and you're up. You're online. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. Okay, you have X Community on there, just like the other ones. And, of course, you have your cheats over in your, over in your fifth tab to disable A, enable A. Okay? Very easy. Bring that back, and there you have it. LaQuinta, thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? We're going to be shipping all these consoles off tomorrow. You're all going to get your tracking numbers and your email. Okay, you're also going to get a link to the startup setup video, okay? Please, if you're new to an RGH, you've got to watch that video because the only way you're going to get this thing online is if you watch that video because that video explains how to put it on your network for the first time. If you do not watch that video, what's going to happen is you're going to get to the Xbox 360 logo, and that's where you're going to get to, and that's it. All right, this is not going to pop up. You're not going to see any Aurora or anything like that because it's looking for the server. If you can't find the server, it's gonna, just going to sit there at the Xbox 360 logo. So you have got to get it on your network first before you power the damn thing on. So please watch that startup setup video I'm going to include in your email, okay? Very important that you do, all right? Thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, La Quinta. All right, and we're going to say goodbye to La Quinta now, okay? All right, now let's see here, okay. Goodbye, LaQuinta. Let's see now. Who do we have here? Mr. Dylan Baker. Mr. Baker, how are you, brother? All right, this one is yours. Okay, got this little puppy all done for you. This one's 320 gig model. Took advantage of the spooky sale. 
for October. Okay, and uh, this is its slim model, of course. I'm going to go ahead and plug this controller in here. Okay, and there we are. All right, and I'll tell you what we'll do. Now we'll fire this bitch up. Let's see what this thing does. It's probably going to friggin' spit at me or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> These are all RGH 3.0, by the way. All chipless installs. Okay, so that way then there's no intermediate uh, chip in there. It's a couple of patch wires and you're good to go. Life is grand. All right, so now we're booting up. Okay, let's see if we get to Aurora here. And uh, there you are. All right. And here we go. And there we are. Okay, so welcome to Aurora. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead, go to Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard. We'll work our way through. As you can see, you got some uh, Advanced Warfare on there. you got Battlefield on there. you got Borderlands, Boltstorm, your Call of Duties, of course, College Hoops 2K8, Gears of War Series, Grand Theft Auto Series 4, Grand Theft Auto Series 5, Halo, Mass Effect Trilogy, Minecraft, Modern, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, College Football Revamp, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row the Third, of course, and then back to the dashboard. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got 25 titles on there on Xbox Live Arcade, by the way. All right, just so you can see. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your classic game on there. You got Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, okay? Mind you, Remember in that Startup Setup video, I explained how to run the thing in bypass mode in order to play the original Xbox game on this thing. Okay, so please watch that video as that explains that also. Because if you try to start it up right now with the server on, it's going to give you a black screen. And that's going to give you a fatal crash. Okay, and you're going to be like, oh, oh man, it don't work. <laughs> I'm going to say, did you put it in bypass mode? You're going to say, what's bypass mode? And I'm going to tell you, did you watch the video? Well, I skipped that part. Well, guess what? Go back and watch it. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, and then of course you got a couple indie games on there. You got Trailer Park STD, and of course your Voice Changer 360. They go very well together when you want to harass people. Okay, and then of course now we have our emulators. Okay, you got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. All right, now we'll go ahead here, Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard, make sure she's good. All right, there we are. Hello again. And uh, wait a minute, this isn't Dylan Baker. This is. Cameron Guess. No, no, this is Dylan Baker's. Okay. I must have misnamed it in the server. Sorry about that, okay? I'll fix that for you. Don't worry. And Cameron, I got yours over here too, so don't worry about that also. Alright, so anyway, sorry about that. Like I said, I've been up really late <laughs> these past couple of nights with the rain. Okay, to 2.30 in the morning. Sometimes. So. Alright. Anyway, let's see here now. Yep, we should be up, we're live, we're good, okay? Hitting the guide button, okay? As you can see, we've got our X community on there. And then, of course, you got your cheats, disable A, enable A. Very easy. Bring it back. And there you have it. So, Mr. Baker. Yes, Mr. Baker, this is yours. Okay. As you can see, I got the label on it. It says, it says, Mr. Baker, okay? All right, not Cameron Guest. I don't know where the hell I came from. I have to fix that. God almighty. All right, too many consoles. Too. All right. So anyway, Mr. Baker, listen, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Okay, I will fix the name on the server. Sorry about that. I mislabeled it. I'm human. What am I going to tell you? But anyway, thank you again for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it, okay? I'm going to say goodbye to Dylan here. All right? Now. Yes, Mr. Dylan. Okay. Fix, uh, fix server, yeah. Ah! This one. Look at this. Cameron Guess. What do you know? <laughs> Jesus. He's going to say Dylan Baker. Watch, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, oh, yeah, and uh, Mr. Cameron, number one, okay, this is a send-in. Okay, so you sent this to me. Family settings were on. I reset that so you don't have to worry about the pesky family settings anymore. And I also found your Fresh Prince uh, Season 6 disc in here. Okay. Would you like to explain that? Okay, I mean, seriously, really, really? Okay, anyway. <laughs> yes, we're into the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> oh boy, some of the stuff I see. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, now. I, I found a Triple X disc in one. That was, that was pretty cool. And I'm not talking about Triple X, the, 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 the dude. No, no, no. I'm talking about Triple X. Yeah, that's right. It's rectum thrashing time. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
I was afraid to touch that console after I seen that. You know, it's like, I'm like, oh, what's on this thing? Oh. All right, so anyway, God. Mr. Guess. Okay, this freaking thing's yours here. I'm going to power it on, right? I'm going to slop over to the, ga the capture card here, okay? It bear with me. <laughs> All right, we boot it up. If it says Dylan Baker, I'm going to freaking flip the freak out. Because this is this is Cameron's, okay? And that's that's Dylan's, okay? So you know, <laughs> God Almighty! All right, here we go. Okay, so as you can see, we booted up into Aurora. Life is good. We're gonna go ahead. All right, Xbox 360. Start with the dashboard, okay? We'll work our way through. As you can see, you got all your Call of Duties on there, your Grand Theft Auto series, and your College Football revamped, okay? And back to the dashboard. All right, and of course you got uh, you got a couple of live arcade games on there, and then you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your emulators on there. You got Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, and then of course back to Super Nintendo. And then of course we go back to Show All. That's everything that's on the uh, that's on the unit. We'll get the dashboard. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's right and tight. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So now I got to fix. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, it looks like yours is good. <laughs> yours is actually right. I got to fix Dylan's. He's gonna say, "Who the hell is Cameron Guest?" <laughs> All right. So I got it good. Okay. There we are. Bypass the sign-in. Okay, and as you can see, you're up, you're online, you're live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD with X community, of course, and over in our fifth tab, our cheats. Okay, disable A, enable A. Very easy. All right, and then we're going to bring this back home. So it's never a dull moment with me. As you can tell, this is real. Okay, this is not, you know, I, I don't edit recordings or anything because that's fake, and I can't stand fake. I'm not doing a thousand shots of, of a friggin', uh, of a recording of these things. No. Okay, so whatever happens, happens, okay? And I put it up, okay? That's just the way I am, all right? It's black and white with me. There ain't no shades of gray, and I tell it like it is. If you don't like it, then don't watch me. What am I going to tell you? I don't give a fuck. So anyway, Cameron, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. You're a gentleman and a scholar, especially for putting up with me and my antics, all right? So anyway, we're going to say goodbye to Cameron here, okay? Goodbye, Cameron. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we got three more. All right. Louie Rico, hey, Uncle fucking Louie, hey! Fucking Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie. How you doing, Uncle Louie? Hey. Now, Louie, he goes back a ways with me. Good guy. Wonderful gentleman, okay? And Uncle Louie, as I call him Uncle Louie, because he's, to me, he's, a, he's, a, he's Uncle Louie, you all right? K5, he's at each. Uncle Louie... Uh, about a year and a half ago, bought an OG Xbox off of me, and he simply loved the damn thing. So what does he do this year? He comes back to me. He's like, Tony, this is Louie. What are you doing? I'm like, how's everything? How's Trix? And he's like, going like, Tony, Trix is good. Trix is for kids. Okay. So with that, Louie says to me, I'm a big kid. You know what? I want a one terabyte RGH. So Louie, eh, kiss it each. Get freaking one terabyte RGH right here. Here you go. Okay. So anyway, also comes with a free month to the Spice Channel if you want. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to claim your subscription. Okay. www.fuckme.com. Okay. <laughs> Louie, let's fire this bitch up. Okay. I'm gonna swap over the capture card and hopefully without too many problems, this thing will boot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Louie, as you can see, we're booting up here. Okay, we're gonna get our notification our server. Now, mind you, remember this is not a bit like the OG. Okay, I'm gonna send you a video for startup. Set a video. All kidding aside, please watch that video. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems getting this thing online if you don't watch that video. Okay, because you gotta get it on your network first before you can just go off on a tangent. Okay, once you get it up on the network, life is good. Okay, so you know, I mean, just so you know. All right. So I'm going to give you that startup set of video. Please watch that video all the way through. Because there's a lot of things to this. Okay. Just like with the OG where you can FTP stuff in it. Well, it's the same thing with this thing too. You can do all that with this. Okay. You also can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, by the way, as well. Okay. So there's a lot of ways to transfer files, folders, games, everything else. I go over that in, the startup, set, in that startup set of video. So please watch that, bro. Okay. Just, just from my head. All right. So you know. If, and if you have any problems... Please message me. You know, I, hey, listen. Anyone that bought a console from me ought to know 
that they can message me, okay? Now, if you have a problem or whatever, I mean, I, if you do have a problem, please message me, okay? I'm around, okay? Hit my page up. I might not message you right back, right then, but I will message you back, okay? Just so you know. All right, so Louie, here we are. One terabyte, fun. It's Box 360. We start off at the dashboard. We'll work our way through. As you can see, you got your Battlefields on there. You got Call of Duties on there. There's 87 titles on this thing, okay? Fable, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City. You got you got all the Grand Theft Auto series, okay? And Buffington Model Auto works with both Liberty City and also works with GTA uh, 4, okay? So you can get online and blast people with that. Halo series, Kane Lynch. You got some football on there. Mass Effect Trilogy. You got basketball on there, all kinds of basketball. Uh, you got football on there, all kinds of football, including... College Football Revamped, okay, with version 18 on there, so you're good to go there. Okay, Saints Row, Skyrim, Sonic, all kinds of good stuff on here, man. It goes on and on and on. So finally, we get to the wrestling part of it, and we made it to the dashboard, okay? So there you go. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well, okay, as you can see. Then, of course, you got your homebrew section, okay, this is where your tools reside. Stay away from that, stay away from that, okay? Those are dangerous, all right? If you don't know what you're doing, okay? Just, just, they're there for my, for, for my head. All right, now, classic games. You got a bunch of classic games on there as well. Okay, some of them, like I said, some of them have artwork, some of them don't. I can't help that. Okay, right now. But anyway, as you can see, you got a bunch of stuff going on here. Okay, there's a bunch of OG games on here that you can play. So there you have it, okay? Just so you know. Now, indie games, okay? You got some indie games on there as well, as you can see. All kinds of good stuff on there. All right. Yes. Cleavage. Yes, definitely. That's good stuff right there. That's scary stuff. That's mess. But still cleavage, okay? Which is good. And that's a lot of ass. All right. So anyway. <laughs> emulators, okay? You got a ton of emulators on there. You got Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, PlayStation, back to Super Nintendo. All right? Now, we'll hit that. We'll hit here. We'll go over to the dashboard right here. We'll see if she's up and online. Make sure she's right and tight. Hello again, Louis Rico, you're on Alliance Live. There you go, you made it. I even named it right. Look at that. Okay. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Alright. Bypass the sign is as you can see, you're up, you're online, you're live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing hut. Like I said, you can take advantage of X community and start bashing people around in there if you like. And also in your fifth tab you have your cheats. Those are our, those are our cheats off of our uh, off of our server. So to so to disable A, enable A, just follow the on-screen instructions when you start the game. And you too can make somebody's life a miserable living hell. All right, so there you go. You bring that back, Uncle Louie. <laughs> Uncle Louie, Louie, hey, oh, hey, oh, Louie, hey. I know you. You know me. We know each other. Hey, kiss it each. Yeah, hey, I gotta drink a bottle of wine with you. Hey, <laughs> Louie, thank you so much for your business, brother. Uh, repeated business, I should say. I really do appreciate it. You're an awesome guy. All right. Love you dearly, and uh, like I said, it's going up Monday. You'll get your tracking number. You'll get a link to the uh, startup setup video in your email, all that kind of good stuff. You'll have it in two to three days, okay? So um, also remember, you're going to have to sign for it, all right, just so you know, all right? And uh, again, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. All right, we're going to say goodbye to Louie here, okay? Say goodbye to Louie. Bye, Louie. Louie, yeah. Hey! Ciao, Louie, yeah. Hey! Yeah, freaking stuttering. Fuck you. All right, let's see you now. Okay. Oh, yes. Now we have one that's kind of special. You'll be wondering why I broke out into an English accent. That's because Mr. Andrew Brett. Yes, I graduated from Harvard and attended Juilliard School of Music and all that kind of good stuff. Yes. He's from England. This thing has its walking papers because it's getting shipped to England. <laughs> Andrew came to me, said he wanted a console. I told him that there's other builders over and over. He's like, no, man, no, no, want you. Okay, so, Andrew, here we go. Now, mind you, I'm going to have to armor plate this thing and, and cover it with machine guns because I don't need it getting destroyed or anything like that. So, when you get the box, okay, and you see it's about the size of your house, and you'll have to open up many, many boxes to get to this thing, at least you know that it'll be packaged right and safe, okay? So, Andrew, this one is yours. Andrew went ahead, he went on the website, purchased the console off of it, okay, and here it is, it's all done, man. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna fire this little bitch up. Let's see what she does, shall we? Okay. And then perhaps maybe we could have tea and crumpets, okay? 
I know. You fucking Americans. I know. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right. Hey, if you can't fuck with people, then what the fuck? Okay, you gotta have some kind of fun. Okay, God. Don't be such a stuffed shirt. <laughs> All right, now as you can see, we're booting up into Aurora. There's 293 titles loaded on this crazy thing. All right, just for your pleasure. Okay, and of course we made it to Aurora. Now mind you, again, Andrew, I'm gonna send you an email with a link to the startup setup video um, and, and a link to this video, of course. And then you're gonna get your tracking number and all that kind of good stuff. Please watch that startup setup video while this thing's in transit, and then you can peruse back to it when you get the console and everything. So that way, then you can get it online with no problems. Okay. If you have any problems, please message me. I'll be more than more than willing to help you. Not a problem. Okay. So anyway. As you can see, we made it to Aurora. Let's check it out here. It's Box 360 dashboard. We'll work our way through. As you can see, you got your uh, Call of Duties on there, Battlefields on there, all kinds of crazy stuff on there. This is the one terabyte version, okay? Got your, all, your, all your Grand Theft Auto, your Halo, football, Mass Effect trilogy, more, more modern warfare, basketball, football, college football revamped, okay? Now, wait a minute. Let me pronounce it right for you guys. Foot. Ball. <laughs> Shut up, Tony. All right, anyway. Yeah, you got hockey. That's another violent sport you'd like. Okay, so on and so forth. And then, of course, you got your saws on there. Those, those, that's violent sports, too. Okay, all right. You know, and uh, pretty much uh, you got a ton of stuff on here, including wrestling. Yes, that could be even more fun. All right, and there you have it. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, all right? You got a ton of Live Arcade on there, as you can see. All right. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your classic games on there. A bunch of classic games on there as well. And then you have your indie games on there, okay? There's a bunch of indie games on there, as you can see. All kinds of good stuff on there. And then, of course, you have your emulators. you got Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, PlayStation, back to Super Nintendo. There's over, like, 9,000 ROMs on there, man. Okay, so you ain't gonna have to go searching for ROMs. And, of course, if you, if you like... You know, if you like the, the old arcade gen series and everything, you can go to Arcade Punks, download a whole bunch of ROMs from there. It'll run on this thing. This thing, this thing is not, it's bisexual. It should run all different ways, okay? A ROM is a ROM. So, as long as the emulator can handle it, you're good to go. And then, of course, we'll bring it back to Xbox 360. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hit the dashboard, make sure that she's right and tight. Here we are. Got it good. Bypass the sign in. Up, oh, it's gonna give me an error. I knew it. Yep, that's what it does. I hate when it does that. You trip X HTTP. That happens. That's okay. When that happens, it's very easy to fix. Just go here. Go to Xbox Home. When that happens, I, I it just does that for some reason. Don't know why it does that. Every once in a while, it'll do that, and you'll be like going like, well, "Why can't I get online?" Well, that's because it tripped X HTTP. Okay, it doesn't like X HTTP. Okay, so. What we have to do here is we go here, and then what we do is we go to, let's see here. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see, is it here? Where the heck is it? Dash launch. Wait a minute. Gotta find it. Nope. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got it in the homebrew section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. Let me hit the homebrew section here. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll go into dash, dash launch. All right. Dash launch. Um, that's your actual uh, setup for your, uh, for how this thing launches and everything. Okay. So, there we are. We're going to dash launch. All right. And then all you got to do is just go in the network right here. Make sure all of these are red. Okay. And now that we reset the network by going into dash launch, we're going to hit RB, bring it down to HDD, hit X to save it, beat it back up. It's going to take us back to Aurora. And then what we're going to do, then we're going to go to the dashboard. Okay. And then you'll see that this thing is up and online. Now, why it does that every once in a while? I don't know. Okay. I mean, like, like, like my friend said, undefined behavior. Microsoft is very good at it, okay? <laughs> so we'll hit the dashboard. Now let's see how this hell let's see how this works here. Okay? Now. Yep, and of course there you are and you're up your online and live. See what I'm saying? Okay, need I say more? Microsoft, undefined behavior. Windows 10 uh, really, really propagates that fact, I'm telling you. Alright, so anyway. <laughs> Hitting the guide button, you'll see that you're on X community, of course, and then over in our fifth tab, we have our cheats to disable A, enable A, very easy. Bring this back, Xbox Home, and there you have it. So, Andrew, 
thank you for your business, brother. I mean, you could have went to a lot of other people, but you went to me. All right, which I do appreciate, you know, because there are, you know, there are people over in the UK like Darren Castle and all that. Those guys, they, they, they do this stuff too, you know. I mean, Darren's a very good friend of mine. I recommend him to a lot of people. He's a very, very good dude. There's a lot of good stuff, you know. I mean, I only recommend fellow builders that I know that are decent, that, you know, and no, I don't get a kickback from doing it, no, okay, I do it out of the kindness of my heart, and because the simple fact is, hey, the God's honest truth is the, is the God's honest truth, the guy has been around for a long time, and he knows his stuff, he's a real good friend of mine, I've helped him, uh, you know, with his laser etchings and everything, as he got into laser etching and stuff like that, the guy's a real spot on guy, you need to check him out, Darren Castle on Facebook, he's a good friend of mine, he's also one of the admins on our Alliance uh, group Facebook page, so, you know, check him out. All right, but anyway, listen, Andrew, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And we're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. You'll have your tracking number. You'll have all your information and everything that you need, okay, at your fingertips in your email, okay? Thank you again for your business, bro. I really do appreciate it. All right. Now, we're going to say goodbye to Andrew here. And this little puppy's off to the UK. All right. And let's see here what we got here now. Yes. Who do we have? Mr. Damon Thrasher. Now, Mr. Thrasher, customer of mine, won his hard drive updated, so we updated it. And Mr. Thrasher, this is yours. This is a two terabyte little monster here. All right, so we're gonna plug this thing in here, hopefully, by the grace of God. All right, and then we'll go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire this crazy thing up. All right, so here we go, and. There we are. All right. Now, I'm going to swap over to the uh, capture card here. All right. And there we are. She's booting up. And give it a second. There we go. Okay. This capture card works kind of slow. But, you know, it is what it is. And it was given to me. So, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Somebody was like, dude, dude, you really need to update your videos. You know? <laughs> like, please use this thing. Okay, so he gave it to me. I mean, and I really do appreciate it. All right, now, here's what we got here. Okay, we're booting up into Aurora. Now, I updated your drive for you and everything, so it's got all the latest and greatest goodies on it and all that kind of good stuff, okay? And uh, this, this one is a two terabyte monster that we did. All right, so uh, let's go through this thing, shall we? All right, we'll go ahead. Uh, let's see here, Xbox 360. Yeah, we'll go there. We'll hit that. Oh, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, good. So, Bucks 360 dashboard. You start off there. Okay, you got your Afro Samurai. You got the Army of Two. You got Bioshock on there. You got all kinds of good stuff on here. This is two terabytes of fun. There's over 164 titles on this thing. So, as you can see, we did everything for you. It's all set up and ready to go. Just like our standard ones that I do all the time. All right. And you got a ton of titles on here. It goes on and on and on. There's a ton on here, man. I mean, literally a ton. And it just keeps going on and on and on forever. All right? And there we go. Okay, so now, Xbox Live Arcade. Okay, a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section. That's where your tools reside, okay? And there you are. Okay, and then, of course, you got your indie games on there. And you have your classic games on there. And, of course, you have your emulators on there. You got Super Nintendo, okay, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, PlayStation, back to Super Nintendo. And then, of course, we'll hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's right and tighten up on the network. And here we are. Well, again, damn flash, you're on the lines live. You have a lifetime. Life is good. Okay. And, of course, your profile's safe. Everything's good. Bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, you're up, you're online, you are live, Okay. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. You know about X community, of course. And over in our fifth tab, you know about our cheats. Okay? So there you have it. So, Mr. Thrasher, thank you again for your repeated business. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad I was able to uh, take care of this mess for you and get it all straightened out and uh, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, we're going to be shipping it off tomorrow. So thank you again for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. All right? And guys, listen. You all have a good one. I've got a lot more consoles I'm building, okay? And as I said, if you keep up with everything, uh, the OG Xbox is coming back online. So this is going to make for some interesting stuff because there's people that haven't ever played on an original, original Xbox. 
and I've been getting a lot of inquiries about it going like, oh man, and I'm like going like, yeah, and there's almost four terabytes of titles on the damn thing too, you know, and they're like, what, you know, and I'm like going like, and I'm like, how old are you, and then they're telling me their age, and I'm like going like, man, you were not around for this thing, wow, I'm like, no, but I want to get into it, well, I'm like going like, well, the game's a little bit older, like, I don't care. And, you know, I mean, and also it's a it's a powerhouse of an emulation machine as well. And pretty much you can run anything. And now with Insignia coming online and putting Xbox Live 1.0 back online, that is going to be an amazing thing because now people are going to be able to experience this stuff and experience the way us old timers used to play these games. <laughs> you know, I mean, and, uh, you know, that was one of the best Xbox series going. I mean, I love the, the original OG Xbox. It is really a machine that is just so awesome. And now with the developers that have gotten behind it also, I mean, it's just, it, it's it, the, the, just the software alone is enormous in the amount of stuff that you can do with it. It's just insane. Thanks to wonderful developers that actually took the time to actually reverse engineer that son of a bitch and do all this crazy stuff to it, you know? And it's just, just utterly amazing, you know? And also the add-ons that are being made. By not only, you know, by not only some mainstream, but also by some uh, some people that are developers that have been messing with the thing for years. I mean, we have where you can plug in in uh, Xbox 360 wireless controllers into the original Xbox. You can, uh, what you call it? wireless adapters, um, HDMI, pure digital HDMI by um, Make MHZ, okay, which is amazing. You know, I mean, we're bringing a console up from... 2000 generation all the way up to 2020, 2022 and it's just crazy but the the what the amount of hardware that they've been doing up you know 128 meg upgrades cpu upgrades it's just nuts and i mean it just doesn't seem to stop and people are really getting into them now so you know here it comes around again you know i mean it just goes to show something old is something new you know i mean i, I don't know but anyway guys listen thanks so much for watching i greatly do appreciate it all right we will continue building RGHs tomorrow as I have got to tend to Lorraine now and take care of her and her needs okay, for a little bit. But you all have a good night. I'm going to holler at you all later. Take care. Be kind. Remember to rewind. And um, I'm going to catch you all on the flip side. You all have a great night. Talk to you all later.